Well, good morning and welcome to our Godly Play session. And this is Palm Sunday. And this, this is the greatest parable. Shall we look inside? Here is the Annunciation. Here is the Transfiguration. And here is the Resurrection. These three moments of God coming close could almost be like a beginning, a middle, and an end. But not really, because the story goes on, even until today. Here is the rejection at home. Here is Jesus choosing his disciples. Here is Jesus teaching and blessing the people. Here is Jesus feeding the 5,000. And here is Jesus and his friends in the fields of grain, learning about Sabbath rest. Now, now this, these stories took place in the north, in Galilee, close to where Jesus lived. Nazareth and the Sea of Galilee are still there today. When Jesus had finished his time in the north, he took three of his disciples up a mountain, and God overshadowed them. Moses and Elijah had been with Jesus, but when the cloud went away, only Jesus was there. And they came down the mountain and turned towards Jerusalem for the very last time. And this is some of what happened on the way. Here is Jesus healing the blind man, Bartimaeus. Here is Jesus blessing the children when you welcome children you welcome Jesus and come close to God and here is Jesus teaching the Pharisees and the Sadducees about what is really important in the law
On their way through Jericho, Jesus and his disciples also met Zacchaeus. Now, Zacchaeus was very rich. He was a tax collector, and he took money from, the, from his neighbors to give to the Romans. Now the people, well, the people hated Zacchaeus, just like they hated other tax collectors and anybody who worked for the Romans. Now Zacchaeus, when he heard that Jesus was in Jericho, wanted to meet him, but he was not very tall. And so he climbed up a sycamore tree to be able to see better. When Jesus passed by, he, he looked up and he said, Zacchaeus, quick, come down. I will stay with you today. And so Zacchaeus came down and led the way to his home. Now the people were confused and upset. Zacchaeus was a sinner. Why was Jesus staying at his house? Zacchaeus wasn't sure why Jesus was staying with him either. But he knew he was grateful and that he was seeing his life differently. He took half of everything he owned and he gave it to the poor. And for every piece of money that he had ever taken from his neighbors, he gave back four. Jesus said, salvation has come to this house today. And they enjoyed their evening meal. It was almost like a holy communion. They were now very close to Jerusalem. And Jesus rested nearby in the house of Simon the leper in the town of Bethany. It was time for the evening meal when a woman came into the home. She had with her an expensive, beautiful alabaster jar full of very expensive perfume. And she walked up to Jesus and she poured the perfume on his head. Now the disciples were, were angry and upset. This was a waste. Why didn't they sell the perfume and take the money and give it to the poor? But Jesus said something, something like this. Why do you trouble this woman? She has done something beautiful, almost like a blessing. You will have the poor with you always, and you can always do good things for them. But you will not always have me with you. She has done something special. She has anointed me for my burial. And when my story is told, her story will be told. There was silence. And Jesus must have wiped the oil off of his face that had run down from his head. They finished their meal, and the unknown woman left.
all the stories in our room. I wonder I wonder what goes in here I wonder what goes in here Well, thank you for joining me today. This finishes this story of the greatest parable. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope that you have a, a wonderful Palm Sunday and a very blessed Holy Week.